Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on the time zone. Now yesterday we discussed about what had happened during the day on a Sabah Sabah day, which was a Sunday, and how the youth had organized themselves for a concert and all other activities. But we did not get time to discuss about what also happened at night. So this time we want to talk about really what extended after the daytime event to the wee hours of the night. Now, when the youth left the Shuja Memorial Concert at Hur Park, they all moved toward the CBD. They literally stormed CBD and they had a very clear message. Ruto must go. Now, beside the youth moving to CBD, the other truth is that the unriot police officers were also on high alert in that area. So when they realized that youth are moving toward the CBD, they were around. But the good thing is that these officers, at least this time around, they handled the youth in a good way. Unless if you have a clip where police officers mishandled this youth, you can share with us. But this was the situation between the officers and the youth in the CBD of Nairobi. Now, again, at the same time, the Nairobi Area Commanding Officer, he had a dialogue with the Gen Z's and they agreed to disperse for home peacefully. So he also ordered the officers not to come close to the Gen Z's who were protesting and chanting. That wacheni, vijana, waandamane, kwa amani, don't come close to these people. Just give them humble time, you just protect the property. And imagine it was peaceful and so wonderful, and the message was well delivered. <laughs> Now, in all of this, just one question. Why are our youth on the road daytime, at night also? Why? What are they doing? That's the question we want to try and answer. But before we go deeper into that, just a quick request for those who are watching and you not a subscribe, please consider subscribing. To our channel subscribers, I say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much and back to this discussion. Now, when I see the youth on the road, I remember so many things. It is not only just because of finance bill. There are also other things. Yes, finance bill in a bigger way, it has just, you know, um, made it worse. 
it was just a waiting bomb that is just now happening. When I look at this, then you try to reflect on Uhuru Kenyatta's leadership. There is the intelligence department, NIS. They are funded by taxpayers' money to make sure that everything is okay in this country, to give critical, useful information to the president, that the president can come out with ways to make sure that the country is at peace, and indeed, everyone is well and good. What are they doing? To some extent, what Gashaga was saying can be justified in this event we are seeing here. Yes, we know youth were killed. And this time around, this youth were taking this opportunity to go and mourn those who have been killed and remind the government on how they are failing. But remember, this youth cannot be on the road up to night hours if they are going to go on duty the following day. He is Sunday, Monday in Kazi. Come how I may a Kazi. There's no way what I walk Barabara Park at these late hours when they know they need to report on duty on Monday. This reminds me of the Kazi Kwamijana. Kazi Mutani. Most of these youth are jobless. They have nothing to do. Uhuru Kenyatta gave Kazi Kwamijana Kazi Mutani. Why? That was intelligence information. That majority of the youth are jobless. And this is not good with the country. There is a problem with security if they are allowed to continue in that way when they don't have a job to do. Keep them busy. Let them earn something. When Ruto became the president, the first thing he did, he scrapped Kazi Mutani, Kazi Kovijana, Akatoa. So majority of youth were rendered jobless. Thousands of them were going to Kazi. In fact, hundreds of thousands. Eh? Hundreds of thousands of them were going to Kazi. So every sub-county in Kua. Now, you come to world level, Kulikua now. Upper, at a paka uko I know specific youth who are going for these jobs. At least kwa mwezi wa likuwa nafanya two weeks or three weeks like that. Na wanapata kitu. If we have such a president, all of these youth are wata kwa parabara. So youth are jobless. Ruto has failed the youth. Uru was looking for a way at least to keep them busy and earn something. That was a president. This one, Nikitu Yengine. Then you come also to creating an enabling environment for business to thrive. Uhuru created that environment. In fact, it was Kibaki. Then when Uhuru came in, he did a continuation of what Kibaki had laid a foundation for. Environment that was friendly to business. So, you also go to an extent of the private sector. People were able to invest their money in the economy of this country. Manufacturing, processing. So, many companies were able to grow. That means they were also consuming Nini, nafasi hawa, vijana, sababu, they were also employing. So they created employment. Majority of this youth got employed. So, when Ruto became the president, all the policies that he came with, they destroyed businesses. Investors walked out of this country, they're going to Uganda, Tanzania, Ghana, you name them, they're going. They're going even up to Nigeria. This man came with one of the worst policies that was so unfriendly to business. So investors, they had to walk out. When they walk out, they walk with their money, they walk with their business. They leave our youth jobless. Some had to cut down on the number of people that have employed retrenchment. 
Say that if you had a thousand people employed, you reduce to 500 or even 300. So that you can maintain the company to continue and also have to earn a profit. Vijana waenda nyubani. So, Ruto rendered through his policies many youth jobless. What will they do? They will be on the street at night. And this is the result of what Ruto brought about. It is now exploding. When they say Ruto must go, they have a reason behind this. Men are now jobless and they are living in Nairobi. What will they do? They will be on the street protesting. So that explains the reason why the youth are on the street at night. Mchana mzima wameshinda wakiwambalesa. Usiku pia wakakua kwa barabara. Mwishimua William Ruto, you have failed. You came and rubbed so many things that Uru had brought about. Ukaona hakuna haja vijana kuwa na kazi. Pesa zile vijana wanakuwa na anda hazikuwa pesa za mwishimua William Ruto. Hazikuwa pesa za UDA. Bado ilikuwa ni ushulo wanaichi. And Uru managed the economy. He managed uh, development. He did so great. This one, no development, money taken, jobs destroyed. Why not Ruto must go? Those are the reasons. And the other obvious ones. You kill the youth. What do you expect them to, to do? They will not keep in silence because they know soon you will come for them. So they rather speak than keeping quiet as, as you prepare to come for them. So they are making noise to stop you. Stop killing our youth. Stop giving such kind of orders to policemen to shoot to kill. They could use rubber bullets. They could use, uh, you know, uh, uh, tear gas and all those other things. But then killing. Men are bleeding. And that's what has angered them. That's why they are on road and even at night protesting that Ruto must go. Then August, the finance between 24, we will discuss it. It is also what made them to be on the road. So finance bill, siyo tundi o ilifanya wakunye, kunikuwa na mamomengi mabaya tu, but it just made it to explode. I don't know your views. Let us meet in the comment section to continue this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.